Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Got the USC commitment sweatshirt back on. As Lincoln Riley told us yesterday at Big Ten Media Days that USC wasn't done making roster additions heading into the 2024 season. 24 hours later, that is exactly what we get as Juco offensive lineman Aaron Tyomi expected to join this USC program as soon as this weekend heading into the 2024 season. I, this is a fascinating kid that I'll say this. There's not a ton of information on him. He played his high school, early high school football days in Alaska, came down to California, played a year of JUCO at Allen Hancock, and now joining USC. There's two different conversations that I want to have. The first one being we bet on these type of kids every single day of the week. You talk about establishing the line of scrimmage. Someone 6'5", 355 pounds, that has the athleticism that he has. We're going to see on the film you want to bet on these kids a little bit raw around the edges, but some big time upside that he has. And I think the second and more fascinating conversation is, you know, what position is he going to play for USC where the initial reports are that he's going to come in as an offensive lineman. That being said, diving into the film, I think this kid could be an elite interior defensive lineman for USC. And quite frankly, the kind of body that USC desperately needs on the inside of the defensive line, fired up to get into the film, fired up to get into this conversation. You know I love talking about these fascinating roster additions. Before we get into it, as always, massive shout-out to the USC fans. You all know I love talking this program, the amount of support, the fight-ons that you guys throw in the comment section, that stuff. It truly does mean the world to the boys. If you all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And I think much more importantly – I would love to hear how you guys are feeling in terms of the position that Aaron Tyomi is going to play for USC. So let's start out with where he's going to play. He's going to play on the offensive line. Now, I think he could be a very good interior offensive lineman at USC some point during his career. Probably don't think he can play tackle because I think the functional athleticism leaves a little bit to be desired. But you put this kid in a phone booth on the inside of the offensive line and you just ask him to operate in that phone booth, move people off the line of scrimmage. That's where he's at his best, right? When he's in a phone booth, when he's moving bodies off the line of scrimmage, the power in this kid's hands and the size that he has, it's just physically overwhelming for a lot of opposing defensive linemen. So I think he could be a very good interior offensive lineman at some point during his USC career, but I think it'd take a couple of years. Because you look at the background and say he played a lot of defensive side of the football at the high school ranks. In this year of JUCO, played in an offense where it was, I mean, it was pretty much just a run power, power run heavy scheme. I mean, there was not a lot of pass protection on the film. And so the way I look at it and say he's got a lot of work to do in terms of pass protection at the power four level in the Big Ten. Now you flip sides and say, what about Aaron Tyomi on the defensive side of the football, I think this could, could be a game record, right? At 6'5", 355 pounds, his ability to overwhelm opposing offensive linemen, it's clear on the film. This is a guy that's not necessarily going to fill the stat sheet like someone like Bear Alexander, but you talk about one of those defensive linemen that is going to eat up double teams, let his linebackers play free and downhill, that's kind of what he brings. And you look across the country, all elite defenses have this kind of body on the defensive line. Those guys that don't necessarily get a ton of national media attention because they're not filling up the stat sheet, but allow the linebackers to play good. Will allow someone like Bear Alexander to have better opportunities to get after the passer. These type of players are important on the defensive line. I think that's what he could do for USC. So again, he is going to start his USC career this weekend. As an offensive lineman, I would not be surprised somewhere down the road he makes that transition to the defensive side of the football. And the barrier of entry, if you will, is pretty low for this kid to play defensive line. I mean, you just talk about, hey, we got to eat up our double teams. We got to win at the point of attack. He can do all of those things. I think there's a lot more progression that would need to be made for him to play offense. Now, if he plays defensive line, I think this is a guy that could play relatively early for USC. You get into the film – now, we have to go all the way back, and I think we should preface this conversation with I'm sitting here with limited knowledge about this kid. Was not a guy we talked about out of the high school ranks, played a year in JUCO, 
USC's coaching staff, Lincoln Riley, they, they know this kid quite well. They've seen him camp. They've seen him work out. So they have a little bit more information. So I'm not necessarily getting up here and telling Lincoln Riley he's wrong for playing him on the offensive side of the football. I'm just saying from what I see on the film, going back to his senior year of high school, there's some really impressive reps as a defensive lineman. I think the first thing you start with is obviously the size, like 6'5", 355 pounds. He is so physically imposing, but his get off and his movement skills for that size, at least in my mind, is next level. I mean, this is a guy that's running the line of scrimmage, making plays consistently behind the backfield, can kind of do it all. I think he can do the dirty work in terms of eating up double teams. But you take a look at here, the pop that he has in his hands, we're just putting this offensive lineman two and a half yards down in the backfield. We're going to get off this block, run the line of scrimmage, make a play. When you see this kid with that size operate that athletically, that explosive, I, I like him as a defensive lineman. And again, it's just a, it's a position where it's more, hey, go use your size, go use your athleticism, and go impact this this game. I think on the offense, I mean, <laughs> you go back and – I, this is one an extremely good get off, but the power in his hands, the ability to do what he wants with opposing offensive linemen, shed blocks and go make plays. It it's so evident on the defensive line. I think he can be a guy that is an impact performer for USC over the next couple of years on the inside of the defensive line. I think he can provide value on the offensive line, and that's if that's where this staff best thinks he's fit. I'm not necessarily going to argue, but I really do like the film on the defensive side of the football. His ability to get off the line of scrimmage, stack and shed blocks, and make plays at the line of scrimmage. I mean, this is kind of your prototypical nose, your space eater, but can be a little bit more dynamic than that. So I'm really interested to see what the progression looks like for this kid. <laughs> I mean, the power he has in his hands in terms of just shocking offensive linemen, it's so evident. And then he runs the line of scrimmage, make plays. I think this is a really fascinating get for USC. We'll kind of keep our ears to the fall practice notes and kind of get a sense for how does he look for USC potentially going back to the defensive line. Cause again, I don't think he starts for USC on either side of the football heading into 2024, but I think it'd take a couple of years to get him on the field on the offensive side of the football. I look at him as an interior defensive lineman and say, this is a kid that could crack the rotation because again, USC desperate for these kind of bodies on the inside of the defensive line. You talk about building a deep, USC defensive front, this kid being kind of factored into that rotation, I think would make a lot of sense. Add another name to the list of guys that we're going to be keeping track of for USC as they kick off fall camp. He's, he's going to be ready to rock and roll. I mean, he's going to report to this USC program this weekend. I'm assuming he'll be out there for fall camp. Really interesting storyline for USC at the end of the day. We love to see USC betting on these kind of bodies. Would love to hear from you guys in the comment section in terms of what position you think you would like to play. I kind of gave you guys my thoughts. Appreciate y'all rocking with it. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll talk to y'all later.